before starting and uh, filling the data sheet, I need to tell you some important facts and actually items. Please be careful if you want to fill data sheet, you do need to uh, have a really good communication and interaction with other engineering disciplines. It means from process department, you need to ask to give you the related P and ID of the project. For sure, you need to ask some help from piping department to give you some uh, items and uh, I mean data related for the pipes. For sure, uh, you, maybe you need to check some items related for power consumption with electrical department and these items actually are just some examples. So bear in your mind, before filling the data sheet, you need to gather all these information. After that, you will be able to fill it. Um, about another point that, again, you need to stick it to your mind is that please survey the technical specification or uh, technical data of your project at first. Because as you know, job specification is the most important, uh, I mean, document in the project. Maybe sometimes you do need to survey the design criteria of a project to understand about the design matters and items of your project too. And for sure, you cannot ignore the standards too. I'm totally sure you could remember something about those standards that previously I just wrote for you on the whiteboard. Can you re remember something about API standard or for example ISO standard or BS? For sure, if your project is based on designation of API, you need to consider uh, the items which is helpful for case of designing as well. And you need to uh, take all those items into consideration. So as a really good tip, and as a really, how can I say, a nice hint, I can just tell you before filling this item, you need to do two important facts. The first one is that survey the related technical specification or job specification of your project. The second step is that try to get, gather and collect all the information that you do need from other departments. In this part, I want to just show you something as a case of example with the help of some other documents such as PNID and PMS. I will show you how we can use these documents uh, to fill our data sheet. For the first item, I decided to fill a pressure gauge data sheet for you here and step by step and row by row, I will just show you how you can fill each of them individually. So if you agree, please start and come with me on my laptop. I want to tell you all these things in detail. Okay, as you can see here, we have a data sheet. I myself mentioned about some items related for these things, as you can see, it's a related item for general case. Here, you need to write some items related for tag numbers, PNID numbers, services, and things like that. After that, as you can see, you will have the process data. Some items such as pressure, temperature, the state of the uh, fluid, uh, will be filled here too. Then we have designing part for our device. As I mentioned that before, this part is related for pressure gauge. So for sure, the uh, designing item for pressure gauge must be written here. Then we have the off seal as a case of accessory of our gauge. Then we have some other accessories such as snubber, siphon, or even two-way manifold. And finally, these items related for purchase item in which you need to mention some items related for purchase order, serial number, manufacturers, and things like that. 